Welcome to Ant World Ant Channel. Welcome to Ant Documentaries Part 1, featuring the Pharaoh Ant. Let me give you a general explanation about what documentaries are. Documentaries are videos which are packed full of info. I'll be, and I'll be focusing on a particular species on each video. Here you can see a lot of Fidoli ants carrying a route to their nest. So, I hope you enjoy these documentaries. Let's get started. Feral ants are tiny and can be found almost everywhere on earth. They are really small and therefore can escape most of the nests. Their scientific name is Monomorium pheranois. They are, their origination is actually unspecified, which means we do not know where they originated. They are very good invaders and have invaded almost a lot of places. These ants are polygynous and can have almost 200 queens in a nest. These ants follow the budding system, which means that when they reach a massive size, they divide into many colonies, which means that in six months they will produce elates. These elates will then take a small part of the colony, which means a few workers, and will move out of the colony to form a different colony. This seems so weird, right guys? These ants have stingers, but they use the stingers to release pheromones. They use three types of pheromones in their day-to-day -day lives. Let me explain one by one. The first type of pheromone is a long-lasting, attractive pheromone which is used to maintain trails like this one which you can see on the screen. The ants follow each other following the pheromone trail set by another ant. They have two strategies for foraging. The first one is when they are exploring territories which they are already explored and just are looking for any new food resources. They sent one scout in that area. If the scout finds any food, it comes back to the nest following visual and pheromonal clues. So, when the scout worker comes back to the nest, it releases the pheromone of the first type, which the other ants can recognize, and they follow this trail to reach the food item. Thus, in this way, in just some time, the food will be covered with workers. The second type of pheromones they use is an attractive but a pheromone which will go in a matter of minutes. This type of pheromone is used to mark food items. So when the scout worker finds some food, it marks the food item with this type of pheromone such that other workers may identify the food item really easily. The third type of pheromone is a repellent. It repels other ants and predators from food items and these workers. The second type of strategy is known as the rush strategy. This is used when they are exploring unmarked territories. They send a lot of scouts such that if there is danger, one scout may return to the colony to warn them of it. Another fact about these ants is that they do not fight between colonies, which means that if there are two colonies living near them, they won't kill each other or go into an ant war. So if it happens like this, one colony should move out of the area. From all these awesome facts, we can understand that this is what made these ants very successful invaders. Now, I will tell you some tips in order to keep them in captivity. I've never kept them before, but I know one thing. They are too tiny to be kept in DIV setups. So, we must make uh, escape proof setups for them. With very strong barriers and no holes between the setups. They are also really ferocious and if they escape they may kill all your other colonies wild feral ants have killed many of my colonies too these ants can get through the smallest gaps into another ant set 
So, if you can see these ants near your home, please take very good precautions against them. Now, if you are planning on keeping them or have found a queen ant of their species, always make sure that you are keeping their setup away from your other ants because they may even destroy your other ants. Now, they grow massive in just a few months, so you may need to enlarge their setup once in a while. Also, they may need large number of food such as roaches as they are growing really fast. But if you just want to keep them at a smaller rate, you can do it by two methods. The first one is by reducing their intake of food, which is really effective again for ants. You can just keep it in a routine and do not exceed the routine of feeding. The second method is by reducing the amount of space you give them. So even if they grow, do not add another setup to their already existing setups. So guys, that's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. And I want to make more of these documentary videos in the future. If you like these documentary videos, don't forget to smash that like button. And I hope we can get 10 likes on today's video. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon for more videos, documentaries and updates. If you have any suggestions, feel free to put it in the comments. I will always try to improve your experience here in this channel. Bye for now.